Hey Aries, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your November read. And we're going to see what's going on. If it's yours, you'll know. If it's not yours, you'll also know because it is general. But it's like, pfft. Um, lovers and death out of the gate with the Ten of Wands. Ace of Swords reversed. Um, we are doing reversals and longer readings. Just give me one kind of overall. There we go. So you have lovers and death kicking it off. If it's not a decision, then it's a relationship. Something is evolving and changing, but with the Ten of Wands, someone's kind of taken on the lion's share. And the Ace of Swords reverse. There's a level of clarity, stuff like that. Um, but I feel like there's stuff that's not being said. I know that's kind of like the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> we'll, we'll clarify that too. Um, yeah, but someone, I feel a relationship could be evolving in a way. And someone's trying to keep it in a spe you know, specific thing. And it's not being allowed to kind of do its thing. So it kind of creates this friction where if it's not allowed to change and like no one's really talking about it, like what's going on here? Because the Six of Cups, um, you know, it's a reunion card as well, but it's also about the past. So if this is an element of, of things not shifting because, well, the nostalgia factor or this used to be good or this used to be like that, it's like, well, how far is that getting you? So Ace of Swords reversed. Give me something on that, please. We have Emperor reversed, Empress reversed. Hi. It's, it has, and I hate being like, it has potential, but something is kind of, you know, being held on to. Because this dude can put down the Ten of Wands at any time, but it's not happening yet. And that has to be done. There has to be a communication. Emperor and Empress reverse together to clarify what's not being talked about. I feel like together people are not stepping into their power or something that is, like I said, there's a lot of potential. Now, what is this Ten of Wands about? Oh, it's only the Ace of Pentacles. Does it feel like, you know, Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful card or whatever, and it's an ace on top of a 10. So you do have to put down the burdens. Is there a level of stability that you feel like you don't want to upset the apple cart? Because like, you know, or, or maybe there could be a little bit more attention being put on practical matters versus the nuts and bolts of a relationship. You know, like someone could be like, I, I'm, I'm in school, I'm in work, I got other stuff to do, you know, like, um, that kind of thing. You're trying to start this other thing, so I can't really sweat this whole talking about relationships and my feelings and the blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's see, what is this Ace of Pentacles about for Aries here? Let's see. Strength. It could be like, yeah, there's a lot of potential, but it's not right now. You know, like I can't talk about getting involved and doing this whole empress emperor business until something changes back here. And in death, you know, I don't see it as like change. I feel like it's sometimes just an evolution, like something is moving here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Someone's holding the fort while someone else is trying to deal with stuff. If we're talking about a relationship. Because I definitely am getting more relationshipy stuff. Especially with the Emperor and the Empress coming out. Now what is this Six of Cups about? Okay. So we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Three of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. Um, you know I just feel like. Especially with this Ace of Swords being reversed. Someone could kind of broach stuff and then retreat. Someone could kind of say something and be like, okay, we're gonna, you know, um, because with the three of cups reversed and it's a slow realization. I think that some people try and package up as like not malicious or angry or whatever. It's just like, Hey, food for thought when really it's like, you know, 
deeper than that. Or I was just thinking, I'm just mentioning, but really it's like a bigger issue. Because this Eight of Swords reversed, um, you're not just ripping the blindfold off and running out of the swords. Like you might have to take the blindfold off and or whoever this is and kind of like peek around a little bit. But like it's happening. Like there's a realization occurring. So if someone is trying to approach you about something and they're kind of like tiptoey, watch out for that. Because you know that like the still waters are running deeper than what you think. Now, just out of curiosity, because I'm nosy, let's do this. Emperor, Empress, Biz. What about that exactly is going on? All right, that's three. That's acceptable. So you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. So like I said, someone's kind of having to kind of move away from some stuff. You might have to kind of, um, like I said, the Ten of Wands is a lot to put down. But you have to kind of move away from stuff that's potentially charged up to kind of get a read on it with this Knight of Wands, though. There's action that has to be taken, and the King of Swords, it is, you know, more decisive. So, you know, I feel like there's an empowerment that happens in the communication. Also, just watch if, like I said, someone's poking. They're not just flat out saying stuff. Also, people could also be doing a little bit, being a little extra, but their feelings are coming out in their actions. I'm not saying I'm justifying if someone's just being a straight up jerk. <laughs> then, then, oh, they're just so sensitive. No, like there's a line, but if someone's like being a little extra, I wouldn't, I'm, they're probably working through a little something, but like I said, it doesn't justify them being jerk pants. So I always say that like, because I, I know times I ratchet it up a little bit just because I don't know what to say or I'm processing something. Um, oh, okay. Hi. So I was like, let's move on to the Oracle. It's like, what? Um, so you have the rose. Okay. We're doing this in a relationship spread, not just a three carter here. So rose is the center issue. One side is the children. The other side is the whip. Let's give me this. Okay. So, we'll talk about this. Give me a challenge. Okay. Someone is not feeling super adequate. And then the outcome. Okay. So, remember how I said someone does not know how to really express themselves or what they're saying? Like, they, they haven't fully formed it, so it's coming out kind of either in pieces or like a little too strong or you know something like that you have the clouds the birds and the cupid now the cupid is nice because it is emotional and stuff but he's still stabbing you like it's still not a good time he still has to shoot you with an arrow right also the birds it's kind of like gossipy chattery it's um it's text it's social media it's that kind of stuff so um just watch like if you post something on whatever platform you use and then like a little bit later that person's like hey I like that too or hey did you hear about blah 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 and you're like oh that's so weird you know what I mean like they're kind of reading the room to figure out what to say and do and not in a creepy way but it's like they just like I said they're not super eloquent in how they want to say stuff or communicate to you and that's where the rose comes in because the roses are really strong and they're beautiful and everything else. They also have thorns. So there's a duality to it. Like they're beautiful, but don't go running into a thorn bush. So there's kind of like little barriers up, a little protective element, but it's worth it. And also roses, you have to, I'm not saying be mean, but you have to prune them almost to the point where you're like, I've killed this thing. Like this is dead. But you have to kind of cut back on stuff. You have to maybe treat them a little firmer than you would like a plant that's just like, I just grow because I'm a plant. But roses can be kind of finicky, you know. Um, so just watch that. Also, like I said, just don't cater to somebody just because they're like, I have feelings. And you're like, yeah, you and everyone else. So, um, you know, don't put up with that kind of malarkey. But over here we have the children with the snake. Okay. Now, there's a new beginning, but a snake as well. Um, I am going to go there. You have on this other side, this could be you, the other person, or it's like kind of a scale. You read it as two facets of a situation. 
The whip is over here. The whip is my sexy card. And then the snake is also a sexy card. So there could be chemistry, you know what I mean? But it's not, um, the emotional eloquence is not there. <laughs> Everything else is there. Um, yeah, so I feel like there's going to be, with the lightning and the whip, there is some kind of surprising element with this person that kind of comes out where they either they know they have to mean business because the whip is discipline um if it's not the sexy time card there's something that it kind of like clicks and over here you know you believe it you know and this is nice but it, there's a duality to it where you're like i'm i'm gonna wait and see i don't want to have to be defensive because snakes only bite when they have to and you're like please don't make me have to um so there is that also Watch out. I'm not saying people are jealous of you, but, you know, just because the birds is up there and the birds can be a little gossipy, a little chattery. Um, just watch for people being like, why is Aaron? Da, 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 and you're like, mind your business. So give me something on this rose. What about this rose? The pig. Um, that is like the fat and happy card. That is an abundance card. But at the same time, there's a little bit of complacency, a little bit of stubbornness. A little bit of lack of like okay let's change stuff and it's like meh and then here's the woman now go over here and you know i'm they only give you a man and woman in this deck so all right communication coming in there with the letter over here okay that was oh okay excuse me guys this does make sense, which is why I'm like, okay, making an agreement with the swords and the dog, there's a level of um, loyalty that might be a little, like I said, there's a combative stuff. Somebody could want to defend their position. Also, I feel like they could want to defend, I hate to say you, but um, their position that's a better way to put it. Defend their position with you. Um, and I don't think there's falseness to it because the handshake is about meeting in the middle. So, like I said, there's some kind of inciting incident where either, like, they see you can't sleep on Aries. You can't be like, oh, it's fine. Everything's great. They think they have you on lock. And then you're like, oh, by the way, just letting you know. Because... You have the guy with the medal down here as the challenge. Someone could feel a little inadequate. Someone could feel like they, they're not bringing it enough in some way. Or they don't have everything that they need to sit in. And like I said, none of this, you know, gives wiggle room for if someone is authentically just a jerk. So keep that in mind. Some people just want to take advantage and, and you just have to call them out on it and be like, nope. Thank you. Yeah. So, like I said, something is going to be kind of a kick in the butt here where they're like, whoa, wait. And, and you're like, oh, okay. Actually, I want to get nosy about this letter here. Ooh. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, you, you're out there taking numbers or like you got a little black book, or, you know, or whatever kids are doing these days but I feel like people are gonna have they are approaching you they are saying stuff you are attractive you're getting some notice and then that could be the oh oh crap I better move and express my emotions ring and the house so yeah if someone is not locking it down they will want to because you know, their position gets threatened. But like I said, just because they're insecure doesn't mean you're going to be sitting around. Or like they have other fish to fry or whatever. Yeah. Because then here is the writer, which is the messages. So yeah. But like I said, there's just like a lack of eloquence with how this person does it. But it's also like, you know, they're trying. They're just not very... Um, not eloquent, but they're, they're not smooth. There's not a lot of finesse in some way. 
we have kindred spirits as the oracle pull there yeah but there's just something about them isn't there um but like i said if they're truly a jerk you know just keep that in mind um you know there's being insecure and then there's just being a little narcissistic so aries that's what i have for you and i'll talk to you later